Uh, these five people here are accused of inciting mass protests in Shiite areas of the Sunni-ruled kingdom. What kind of work were they trying to do exactly? Well, these five individuals, including, as you mentioned, uh, female activists, were simply participating in anti-government protests uh, in the aftermath of the Arab Spring. Uh, these protests uh, and their participation was largely peaceful, uh, and they're also being accused of spreading uh, anti-government uh, opinions online on social media. Now, the public prosecutor, as mentioned, has recommended for them to be beheaded. And this is simply atrocious and appalling uh, because what they've been accused of obviously are not recognizable crimes, nor does it meet international standards. And we're calling on the Saudi Arabian authorities to immediately drop these plans uh, for them to be uh, sentenced to death. I think the other noteworthy thing here is that one of the activists is, of course, Isra uh, El Rumram, who is a female activist who is known to have spread uh, her opinions online uh, that are against the government lines. Uh, she would be the first ever woman to be sentenced to death simply for peacefully participating in anti-government protests. Uh, it's simply atrocious and it needs to be condemned internationally. Sama, what kind of reaction has there been from inside Saudi Arabia to, to this woman who's now on death roll? Well, it's hard to determine because uh, Saudi Arabian media tends to be quite uh, pro-government. And there is this climate of fear at the moment in the kingdom where activists, but also uh, simply your average person, is too scared to speak up. Uh, since we've seen, you know, this wave of arrests of not only uh, Shia activists, but also uh, women human rights defenders most recently, uh, people are simply too afraid to speak out against these human rights abuses and to really speak out against the government. And this is really largely due to the government uh, cracking down on any form of dissent in the kingdom. Uh, it's quite appalling and uh, really does require allies of Saudi Arabia to publicly criticize not only these uh, recommended death sentences, but also the ongoing uh, arrests of activists. But would that be enough? Would public criticism from allies of Saudi Arabia be enough to stop this? Well, it's absolutely needed. Um, and what we're seeing now is a complete silence. Uh, from European governments, from governments that have traditionally spoken out against the death penalty and uh, promoted women's rights. Uh, these governments have unfortunately uh, chosen to remain silent and prioritize their security and economic deals over championing human rights uh, internationally. It's really important that the government of Saudi Arabia feels this pressure from their allies and the international community.